Facing all the storms, but now he's also a busy guy at the Utah's Hogle Zoo. The meerkats being welcomed to their new home. Devin, tell us all about it. Well, it's all about meerkats today from Holgol Zoo. I just wanted to show you kind of the lay of land first. Then we'll get to some weather, but we want to talk meerkats first. Africans, African savanna exhibit that we're all familiar. We've got our train that goes around. We've got our giraffes. We've got all that. So on what we would say is the west side of this here. Thomas, go ahead and back up here as we zoom back over, though. But we're going to take a look at right next to this is where we have our meerkats exhibit. Now, the meerkats existed here, but we never had really their own little place they'd never been outside so we thought you know what what better time we've got special movies coming our way warthogs meerkats we're with erica hansen here director of pr here at the whole hey, suit thanks welcome. so much for joining We're us today glad great give me a little bit more backstory on the meerkats and some of the fun things we can see with them well we're excited because like you said we have had meerkats here they've been down in the small animal building but we wanted to do something special for jim hogel he is a member of the hogel family that donated this land to the zoo back in 1931 and meerkats are one of his favorite animals so we have built this beautiful new exhibit you can see their stick they love to come out and sleep in the sunshine and then we toss in crickets and it's so fun to watch them dig and root around around meerkats a group of meerkats is called a mob and every meerkat <laughs> helps with everything they help with hunting they help with protecting they help with raising their young they're great diggers they burrow in these little tunnels so we think this is going to be a lot of fun and it's also great year-round viewing for our guests oh my gosh that is so fun they're so cuddly that's the thing the thing is we can't really get up and close and personal to them can no, we? oh and we're dying too <laughs> but we can't the keepers won't let us <laughs> oh those darn keepers for us now not only meerkats but coming up in a little while we're going to get to a secondary location but we have such a full day that you've had already here on this thursday but we have other things that we're going to be able to see today right it's been busy and we're also ready to introduce two new warthogs that are going to live out on african savannah warthogs mm, meerkats. meerkats there might be something that i might be able to see coming to the theaters in a little while that features those two are you going to sing the song should he sing the song I think he should say Hakuna himself. Matata. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Erica, thanks so much for joining us here. You. We'll talk to you again in about so, 25 we'll more go minutes. See the we will, okay. and we'll show you those in a little bit right now. We want to show you what we had in weather here today. Go ahead and take a look at what's going on outside. By Rider Cam, boy, what a morning. Emily led into that right now. Here's the storm activity that's still there. I saw some storms come through Brigham City a little while ago. Here's what's going on with we sc had scattered storms earlier, trying to develop more storms as we're getting into the central and southern parts of the Wasatch Front. Finally got a little rain late in the day, but boy, was that storm at the right time. The one beautiful start to this Thursday that we had. Mealtime temps, let me tell you, the breeze I can, Hogel Zoo, the breeze always seems to be around Hogel. It's just because we're on the foothills here and just as we're up into the elevation. But we've had breezes tick up for everybody today, and there's the warmth. Now, with the breeze, the warmth, and what's actually a little humid for Utah after those morning storms, we have a risk for possible severe weather. We want to talk a little bit about this. So, you see in the dark green shaded areas, the dark green that's what's called a marginal risk. Marginal, eh, it's the lowest risk you could have. We're under that's now a slight risk from Salt Lake City farther north into southern Idaho. What that means is it's a little higher threat from, we're pretty sure that we could have one or two severe thunderstorms, but the risk in Utah after some heavy rain and lightning really comes from strong wind gusts over 58 miles per hour and maybe some hail to the size of dimes and nickels. So through this afternoon after two, watch for the potential for strong to severe storms and through tonight, but as we get into your Friday forecast and beyond, cold front Friday, the storm's not as numerous, but we still have a chance, but I don't think the severe weather threat on Friday would be as great as what we're having here today. So really be on guard as we say, be weather aware the rest of today and watch for that potential for the strong and severe storms. So really the main threat to you would be if you're on in the car and you have a strong wind gust, especially on I-15 traveling north and south, those winds could blow in from northwest and west. Central Southern Utah, we hardly find much. Some mountain storms to be had today, that's about it. Seven day forecast for St. George. It's a warm day, breezy, maybe hot, upper 90s today. And the cold front will come through the entire state, but it's not going to bring any rain, just a little bit cooler air in towards St. George. The Salt Lake City Wasatch Front seven day forecast here for us. We're calling for upper 80s today. That's one reason we could find some severe storms, the breezy conditions. Watch after 2 p.m. that potential tomorrow. High around 80, give or take that. It could be only in the 70s if the front's through earlier. Could be well into the 80s if the front's through a little bit later. But then Saturday, 
Well, it's going to be pretty cold for June. We're talking low 60s for high temperatures. That means most of the day, summer. 50s and 60s here. <laughs> hey, the animals love it a little bit cool. They'll you know be out what? in full force that it's day. It's great zoo going weather for humans and animals. It's great. And Sunday might be even better as sunshine and we're in 70 by the afternoon. Erica, thank you for talking hey, with for us here today. Out. And the meerkats here behind us will have more with warthogs Hakuna Matata in 25 more minutes from Hogel Zoo. Stay with us here on ABC4 News Midday. We'll be right back.